Hello everyone, my name is Kiko and today we are going to be talking about trash and how to sort your trash. Now here in Japan, it is very important to recycle and you can't just be taking out like your trash at random days. If you don't sort your trash correctly, you're not going to get in trouble but let's say you know you have a big bag full of trash that like filled with plastic, paper, just a bunch of mixed stuff and then you take it out like on some random day. The trash man isn't going to take it, you know, he's probably going to look at it and put like a big red X on the trash not take it and leave it there which is not good so you're gonna be sorting your trash properly it's not as hard as it seems like it seems kind of difficult and complicated but it really isn't that complicated i'll just kind of explain you know like which days what goes in the trash you know during those days all right so for me i have a schedule right here this is my schedule for my area and uh, the schedule changes depending on area and this is for Sapporo if you live like in a different area and Sapporo is going to be different like the days are going to be different but the recycling is about the same so anyway there are two types of bags there are the yellow bags which are for like the burnables and the non-burnables and then the white bags the simple white bags now according to my schedule plastic is recycled on Monday so plastic uses a white bag and pretty much you put all your plastic stuff in this bag now what are some examples where you go to the grocery store you get some groceries and your grocery bags are gonna go in here you're eating a candy the plastic candy wrapper it's gonna go in here. Uh, small little plastic items like maybe like bottle caps are gonna go in the plastic bag. You know, just general plastic items are all gonna go in here. All right, the second day for me, Tuesday on my schedule, is gonna be two types and that is burnables and spray bottles. So burnables are gonna go in the yellow bag. The burnables are pretty much the trash you just like throw out generally. So for example, you know, you make some eggs, you know that like the eggshells are gonna go in here, you know, food waste, you know, maybe you don't, you don't finish your burrito is gonna go in here, you blow your nose, is gonna go in here stained stuff you know so for example let's say you do have like a plastic chocolate wrapper but it's like all melted like the chocolate is all melted and nasty now you're not gonna throw that in your plastic recycle bag you're gonna throw that in the burnables you know because like it's not worth cleaning at that point other stuff is like clothing um leather stuff pens you know your pen doesn't work anymore burnables just stuff that's gonna get burned obviously you don't want to throw anything dangerous in here because it's gonna get burned and one of the reasons recycling is so important for me anyway is because look how small this trash can is you know if i throw like a bottle or like a big bottle in here like it's already gonna fill it up so i'd rather throw like a big bottle in my recycled bag not in this smaller bag all right so spray cans and spray bottles that's gonna go in one of these white bags since burnables and spray bottles are the same day they gotta be different bag you know so spray bottles pretty much stuff that that seems like they could blow up you know like spray cans hairspray pretty much any pressurized canned stuff are gonna go in here and that's for tuesday wednesday it's called pet bottles but pretty much recycling bottles and cans that's all it is so it's gonna use a white bag a big white bag and what are some examples of pet bottles cans well you get a beer can you know you have a beer drink your can throw it in that guy cans plastic bottles glass bottles glass that's gonna go in the bottle so you know just bottled stuff that you drink out of pretty much now one very important thing to note is that these bottles right here you gotta separate the bottles from the plastic what i mean by that is is like you're gonna take off this right here like it has some little arrows you're just gonna take that guy off like that this is gonna go the bottle is gonna go with the bottles and the plastic is gonna go with the plastic so you gotta separate it all right now some exemptions i guess is like this right here like this bottle right here i can't really take off that sticker i'm not gonna waste my time taking that so this right here is probably okay just to throw in the bottles but with these right here it's easy to separate so separate it the next day is thursday which is kind of a mix you know for me thursday varies okay so there's paper paper day paper goes and the big white bag so paper is just you know paper you get you get a poster advertisement paper you buy like a like a snack or something that comes in a box like this you know maybe like some cakes or something you know you're like a little box you know take the stuff out and this cardboard right here it's gonna go with the paper milk cartons are made of like cardboard paper so paper stuff cardboard stuff is all paper mixed paper stuff just throw it all together you know another day for thursday which is kind of like once a month is the non-burnables we're back with these yellow bags non-burnables are stuff like lighters you know lamps pretty much stuff that is dangerous to the environment electrical stuff wires batteries you know just stuff that's dangerous for the environment you shouldn't burn it burnables and non-burnables go in the same bag but they are picked up on different days so you know it doesn't get 
get confusing for you know the trash people who come pick it up now for me specifically thursday changes you know like the first thursday of the month is paper the second thursday is the non-burnable stuff the third thursday of the month is paper again and then the fourth day is the next category which is like nature stuff and nature stuff is pretty self-explanatory you know you got like tree branches grass whatever grows in the nature stuff you want to throw away that you know you cut down a tree or something you know stuff like that and then my friday is the same as tuesday which is uh burnables and spray can bottles again so anyway those are the seven categories just look at your schedule and you can figure it out as you go like for me i was kind of confused at first but now I, I understand it so overall um some things that the city doesn't collect are like big items like you know maybe like a microwave or like a like a table they're not going to collect that you you gotta arrange to have it picked up but i don't worry about that because i don't i'm not gonna be here that long here in japan i'm studying abroad but like this kind of stuff i'm not gonna throw it out i'm just gonna leave it here for the next person to use i don't think it's something you guys should worry about especially if you're gonna be here short term you know those are things i don't worry about what i do worry about there are seven types of recycling but i only worry about four burnables general trash plastic paper and bottles that's all i worry about i have three of these big white bags under my kitchen sink they're out of sight and you know just simple category you know paper plastic and bottles and burnables that's all i need so for example i get one of these guys it's a cookie i eat it throw this with the paper throw this with the plastic i get a bottle drink it throw this with the bottles throw this with the plastic throw it with the bottles I have some tissues, blow my nose, throw that in the burnables, throw the plastic with the plastic. I get some mayo, paper. That's all I gotta say about that. You know, hopefully it's not too complicated, but if you guys do have any questions, I am gonna link all the information to the website for Sapporo in the description. And when you do recycle, just remember like the recycled stuff, make sure it's not, not like dirty or nasty or stained, you know? Make sure to like wash it out real quick and then throw it in there. Because if you don't wash it out, like you're, you're, you're probably going to have one of these bags for like three weeks until it gets full. And you don't want it to smell. So, you know, just make sure to wash it out, throw it in there. You know, just gather it up and once it gets full, throw it out on the, on the set date. And if it's too dirty to get cleaned, just throw it in here. Alright? Yeah, hopefully I helped you guys out. And yeah, have fun. Enjoy the rest of your trip.